Hey everybody, welcome to IV Key TV where I give you in-depth keys to IV insertion success. But just before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified when I put more videos out. Today we're going to go over an IV insertion in the median antibrachial vein. All right, so when I'm asked to place an IV, my goal isn't simply to just put the IV in the first most obvious spot. I'm thinking about several things. I'm thinking about one, how long will they need this IV? Two, what the patient will be receiving through that IV? And three, the overall health and IV history of the patient. Now, I love this particular vein because of its location. Normally found in the middle of the forearm, this location is great for when IV therapy is needed for multiple days. It's also a prime location because it's away from any point of flexion like the wrist or the elbow, which gives the patient a bit more freedom to move and actually ensures that your IV lasts much longer. First, I locate the spot by sight and palpation. And then next I move to properly prep the skin. Now the standard of practice is to wipe the site for a full 30 seconds. Guys, a three move swipe is not enough to properly clean the skin. If you want this IV to last, wipe it for the full 30 seconds. Now while I'm cleansing the site, a few things are actually happening. Number one, obviously I'm cleaning off most of the bacteria, but number two, the constant motion of my wipe in on that particular vein will help promote venous distension. Now, I know that it's common practice for a lot of people who are really good at IVs to hit the skin or slap that vein to bring it to the surface. Well, I found that that's actually not even necessary. Gently rubbing it with the chlorhexidine wipe will have the same effect. Now, after, after I cleanse the site for full 30 seconds, I allow it to fully dry fully air dry. If you insert a needle into wet skin, you will run the risk of giving your patient an infection and you will lose that IV due to bacterial phlebitis. All right, now I'm ready to place my IV. First, I like to do a tripod grip of the skin. Anchor the skin from above, anchor it from below, and anchor the side for stability. This really minimizes the risk of that vein actually rolling, which actually happens to a lot of people. And also notice that my non-dominant hand is not in the way of my needle. I insert at a low angle and get just enough of the catheter inside the vein, remove the needle, and just like that, the catheter is in. Remove your tourniquet right away and secure your site. Clamp your IV, remove your vent cap, and connect your flush. When you flush, you're checking for patency and you aspirate to confirm again for patency. You're checking for infiltration or pain right above that insertion site. And also remember to flush with positive pressure as the plunger is going down. Towards the end of that plunger going down, you clamp your flush to make sure the whole catheter is nice and clean. And then you clamp right at the end. And just like that, your IV is in. Thank you so much for watching guys. My challenge for you this week is to locate this vein, follow the steps that I gave you in this video, and let a girl know that it worked. This is Katasha from IV Key. Tune in next time for some more tips. I'm out.